Hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing this evening? Welcome to Kiki Loves Nigeria. Y'all let me know if y'all can hear me okay. Let me know if the sound is okay, if the microphone is okay, and all that good stuff. All right, so I guess y'all can hear me because I don't hear any, um, I don't hear anybody. Okay, we can hear you. Hey, Mr. Navigator, how you doing? So, hey, everybody, look, y'all know me. I'm not going to waste no time. I'm just going to get right down to the business. So, for the people who don't know me, my name is Kiki Lost Nigeria. This hair is in my face. I'm not going to like that, so i got to get that out. My name is um, Kiki Lost Nigeria. And this is my channel, and I want to welcome all the new subscribers that I have. Oh, my God. I want to thank y'all so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and for spreading this message, you know, for help getting this message out. I sincerely want to thank everyone who has helped done that. That All those 202 people who shared my videos, I want to thank you so much for that. So tonight, like I promised you, um, what was his name? The Gambian man, the Gambian TV man. Remember him who kept on telling me uh, him, and I believe it was Chat Lives Matter who kept saying that they believe that, you know, the scamming allegations could have something to do with uh, Shakina passing away. Well, I had hadn't heard of this well i did i take that back i didn't remember that the shakina that i met in the gambia was the same shakina that you in from apology you know apologetic negro pen that that was the same shakina okay because i actually i didn't remember her name when i went to gambia and i met shakina i didn't realize that was the person that UN was talking about, because remember that video, I think was in December. It was in December, I think of 2000, was it in 2020, I think, or 2000, it was before I went to the Gambia. So it had to be in 20, because the first time I went to Gambia was 21. So I didn't realize that was the same person that I was, that I had met in person until after all of this start going down. Then, you know, when I start researching the videos, then I remember, oh, UN did do a whole series of videos about Shakina and about her being involved in these scamming allegations. So we had talked about that on, you know, the channel. People were telling me that, and I had remembered that. So I just had started, you know, just going through the videos. But it seemed like when I was watching the videos, there was only like maybe one person. No. UN said two, but there was only receipts for one person who had, you know, said that she had owed them some money for some land dealing, you know, some land dealing that she was involved in that wasn't quite on the up and up. So again, I was saying, well, that that was only that receipt was maybe what three years old. So I was like, we didn't have any follow up on that. I reached out to Miss Karen. She didn't respond to me. So, um, you know, we didn't have anything. So we, I didn't really know which way, which direction I was going to go tonight, okay? I didn't know how this show was going to go. I was waiting for the, the information to tell me how this show was going to go tonight because I did not think it certainly was going to go this way. So while I was waiting for to do the show, like I said, I had got sick. And I was still waiting for Karen to get back with Miss Karen to get back me with me in the meantime. But she never she never replied. But you guys kept commenting. You kept on saying things in the comment section. And I kept saying, well, I can't just go by what you think and what you feel. I need some receipts. OK, I need something to say this is what actually happened. And here's a receipt to prove. This is what happened. Because for one, she's not here to make a, a rebuttal video to say, no, that's not what happened, and, and X, Y, Z. So that's why I really wanted to be careful with this situation. And I wanted to get receipts before I even talked about it. 
So, like I said, I had gotten sick. But in the meantime, someone else contacted me. And honey, when I tell y'all this person had receipts, <laughs> this person gave me receipts for days. It proved, I'm not going to, I'm going to let y'all decide. I'm going to hold my opinion to the end. I'm going to try to because y'all know sometimes when I get to talking, <laughs> it's all over. But I'm going to try to reserve my opinion about the situation and what I think happened until the end, to after we present everything, okay? So I'm going to tell you, so like I told you, what got me on this path that, this, that, that there were these scamming allegations may have played a role in Shakina's demise was you guys in the comment section, like I said. So, again, I'm not, oh, wait, yeah, let's put up this fair use thing before I get started. Because I'm not thinking this lady that I met in the Gambia was involved in any such thing as <laughs> that, okay? That hurts. So, um, you know, I'm leery about what I'm going to say because this doesn't sound like the person that I met when I was there. So this is one of the, this is one of the comments that I had received when we were talking about her, um, the unaliva. So in the video about the unaliver, this was one of the first comments that I had saw, you know, and I, when I was like, well, what could she have done? Because, you know, like I said, she seemed like a really nice person to me. Her business was like, she was really concerned about the community. What she was telling me was, you know, she was working basically for the community. She was helping people get their land deals corrected. So I'm not knowing any of this other stuff is going on with this What's Up group because she didn't tell me this, okay? She didn't tell me any of this. And I don't believe James uh, James and UN are the same person, okay, y'all? So y'all might hear me say UN or you might hear me say James, okay? But that's the same person. So he never mentioned that this was going on, you know, that anything about a What's Up group. So the What's Up groups were, were shocking to me when I got that information. So this person was in the comment section, and when I was, you know, saying what could she have done, because like I said, this lady was very nice to me. This, this lady presented, I'm not saying she's not a nice person, but she presented to me like she was a very nice person, and she was very concerned about her community, especially people in the Gambia who were involved in these land scamming uh, operations. So the person said, what in the world could she have done is scamming people and stealing their money? So I was so offended when I read that because I'm like, why would you say something, you know, like that? And how was this lady scamming people? You know, how was she helping people and scamming people at the same time? So I knew about Karen and Levi because, like I said, I went back through the videos and I saw the comment about Karen and Levi. For those who haven't seen that, we're going to get to that, okay? So then I saw that comment and I was like, okay, well, maybe Karen and Levi is the only people that this has happened to. And maybe this person, Woodman Joe, is just talking about Karen and Levi because this is what I'm thinking. Karen and Levi are the only two people who are really involved in this, right? No. I was so, 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 so mistaken. So mistaken. So it's really good that the show didn't happen last week because I didn't get this information, guess what, until yesterday. Well, last night. Last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. Something said, check your phone. I checked my phone. Check your messages. Checked my messages, checked your email, checked my email, and there was this long email full of receipts. But before we get to that, let me tell you what else brought me to this point. All right? So I told y'all, our Kathy had made a video. Now, our Kathy, you, everybody who watches our Kathy, we, <laughs> we know our Kathy 
is comedy, okay? R. Kathy is comedy to me. But before I get to R. Kathy, let me take y'all messages. Messages. Let me take y'all comments. You know, R. Kathy is, is really comedy to me. Hello, uh, Dove. So, uh, you know, I'm like watching this R. Kathy, but I'm watching it, you know, not really taking her serious because you know how she jokes around a lot. Beautiful, your courage is unmatched. Keep up the phenomenal. Oh, thank you, Neil. <laughs> right, because this does take courage because they come for you in full, full force. Full force. And not only do they come for you, these people on YouTube, they come for you in real life. Mm -hmm. And they brag about the things they've done to me, tried to do to me in real life. But none of it sticks. None of it sticks. Their attempts, none of them, all of them fail. Every attempt they've made is, is failed. So that should tell them they need to quit trying. Okay, so, uh, okay, you can hear me? Okay, so we got all those. Okay, okay. So I'm watching our Kathy. <laughs> I'm watching our Kathy. And I'm thinking, just our Kathy just talking about her new stuff that she's doing in Ghana, right, everybody? So that's not exactly what she talked about. She talked about just a little bit more than that, okay? And um, after I listened to her, my antennas kind of went up because I'm like, wait a minute. One thing I know is that when more than one person talk about the same thing, or when you keep hearing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again by different people, it's like where my it's like what my grandma used to say. She used to say, "Where there's smoke, there's fire." Okay, so I kept hearing these allegations over and over and over again about the scamming. Even in my comment sections, I kept hearing it. So when I'm watching Art Kathy's video, I'm about to show you. She starts talking about. It. She starts talking about Shakina, but remember, she doesn't say Shakina. She says, I forget. I think she says the auditor. Now remember, Shakina was the auditor for Exodus Alliance. She did the auditing for when they first accused Quasi of. Uh, the allegations in Best Relocate Africa of these um, taking this money, okay? When they first did that, they had uh, Exodus Alliance came to try to help out and, you know, deal with the situation. Well, Shakina Shin Shinadu, she was the auditor. So she was, she was the person who looked at the records, looked at the books, as we say, to make sure everything was legit. So... The fact that she didn't go out and interview people, that, that let me know that these people who, who were talking about that they were scamming that Invest Relocate Africa, they really didn't even know what they were doing because they felt like the auditor needed to talk to them about the money trail. But what you don't understand is that your, your accounting, your book should, should explain the money trail. You shouldn't have to go and talk to somebody to explain the money trail. If the money trail has to be explained, then there's a problem with the money trail. There's a problem. So let's listen to our Kathy and see what she had to say about these scamming allegations. So let me get to her. Let me go back to her. Oh, yeah, did I say fair use? Okay, this is fair use. And what fair use is, that lets you use that lets you use different people's content to educate. Well, on this channel, I use it to help educate people about what's going on in West Africa. I use it to help keep you safe in West Africa. Okay, so let's listen to our Kathy. I'm standing. Well, let me go. I'm standing. I'm standing. I'm standing in a green dress. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm standing. Uh -huh. I'm standing in a green dress. Yes, I got my standing. I'm standing. It's Saturday. What's up, everybody? I'm standing. Uh, standing in my green dress. Uh, uh, 
I'm standing. Shout out to everybody in the States standing in my green dress. Uh, uh, y'all see this green dress? You know, you get a little, a little cute dress. Y'all see me? Y'all see me? Let me get out my house shoes. No one, I got some house shoes. I like this color. You know, one thing about Tamale, shout out to everybody in Tamale, honey. First of all, let's say, and today or Despa, and you say, nah. Y'all be having some cute dresses on the side of the road. I love these dresses. Got me some little earrings and stuff. And so I'm watching this and I'm just thinking she just going, you know, be our Kathy, laugh and talk about her stay in Tamale, right? And she did for a minute. She talked about her business in Tamale. She did all that. And then all of a sudden, she switched up on me. I don't, I don't even want to respond. I, I don't even want to help you if you that stupid. Like, if you don't. So hold on. That's when she's talking about her investors. Whatever you want to call on. Like the song say, Alhamdulillah, Allah, Jehovah, oh, Yahweh, yeah, this, Oh, oh, right. Y'all got to hear this. Yes, honey. You know, we'll just give you that black, black. We're going to be on black right now. Everything that everybody had to say about me, if you got people that try to bring you down and defeat you and shit, and where we can retire early, okay? So, I got it. I'm out of here. I've been sweating. But y'all see my black, my little dress? Yes, honey! You know when your dress give you that black, black? You gonna be on black, black, honey? Yes! I'm thinking she just gonna do what she do, right? I'm not thinking our Kathy is about to say what she about to say. Yes. But I'm sweating, no child. But the sweat is good detox. You know what I mean? It's real good detox. I got some little cute little earrings or whatever. Um, but I love y'all. Thank you for the support. Thank you guys so much for the support. I want to spill some tea right now so bad, but I'm not. But if you know me, if you know, you know. God is in control. My ancestors here. Prayers. Divine vindication is, is here. Cat Williams. I, I hold the spirit of Cat Williams right now. Everything that everybody had to say about me, if you got people that tried to bring you down and defeat you and shit and that almost ruined your life and you prayed to God and wonder, God, are you just don't let my enemies win? And you say, don't worry about letting them bitch, don't let no Anything, this whole video just still got flagged because of that. So you know what I'm going to do after this? I'm going to go in and take that out because that's just too much. But what she's trying to say is this. She feels like this auditor. She feels like Shakina did not clear her name that she came in and she cleared Quasi's name but she didn't clear her name again when i was doing my research on invest relocate africa uh, i what she was saying about the dusty divas who are phoenix rain and and um cynthia from black acres her best friend okay her irrelevant best friend those are the dusty divas now, the Dusty Divas did not know what they were doing, and they did blow everything apart, okay? But from what I understood, Shakina cleared both of their names. I don't know how she could clear Invest Relocate Africa and not clear Art Kathy also. But like I said, I have never researched Art Kathy, so I don't know. You know, I don't know. I thought they were the whole org. I thought when they cleared Invest Relocate Africa, they cleared her, but I, but she feels like she was not cleared. She feels like the auditor was had something to do with her name being not cleared. And basically, like you were saying, she just like she was saying, you saw she's basically rejoicing because this happened. She feels like this is just something that was going to happen, and that she basic uh, Shakina basically put herself in this situation because she was scamming, and she. She was I'm not scamming. I don't think she said she. Yes, yeah, she did say that. She said she was taking people's money also. All right. So that's our that's what made me start thinking something is going on here because, you know, I know she has issues with the same usual people. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to get. So when yeah, when I get off here, I'm going to cut that part out. I'm sorry. That's just too much. I didn't even realize it was all of that. You know, that was just, that was too, too much. But that's what basically what she was trying to say. I have to watch art video. Yeah, you sure do. I can't see her. Re well, please watch the whole thing because I can't take all those cuss words. I'm sorry. I can't. But that's what she, I couldn't believe she rejoiced either. That's why I said something's, um, something's wrong. You know, something is wrong. I think R. Kathy said they used her name, not cleared her name. But used her name for what? She said they used her name for businesses because I watched the whole video. So she said they were starting businesses in her name. 
They were starting businesses, but not letting her know. That's what she was talking about when she said they were using her name, Lisa. They were using it to start these different businesses. Okay. I think she said they started an LLC and she didn't know anything about it. They were doing other things in her name that she didn't know about. And that's, you know, and she does have a right to be upset about that. But I can't see where, how Shakina could clear uh, Invest Relocate Africa and our Kathy not be cleared also. I just, I can't see how that could happen. So that, again, that's what made me start thinking there's more to this. But all I had was Jane's videos. I cannot, with yes. And it's too low. Good it was too low because I'm going to cut all that out. I probably got the volume down in the video. But, yeah, I'm going to cut that video off. So when y'all see this again and you hear that, see that big space, and when it's going to just go to me, that's because it was too much. Yeah, it was too much. But I wanted y'all to see that's what led me to something else. Oh, I like her too. I do like her. I think she's funny. But this was that was just too much. And that's why I was shocked. I never seen her talk like that. You know, where she's like, you know, saying she <laughs> saying she wishes, you know, she's thankful that this happened to her. No, that that's not good. So, like I said, that led me to look for other things. <laughs> we appreciate you. I appreciate you too, Chat Lives Matter. Actually, our Kathy gives you good info. She does give good info. That's why I said I like to listen to her. But this, all those cuss words, I, I don't, I can't take that on my channel. For her channel, that's fine. That's how she gets down. But me, no, no, I can't do that. And it was too much. It was those, it was those bad cuss words too. So um, now I'm going to show you something else. So after that video. I still was like, something's going on, but I have no proof. I talked to Quasi. He said the money she's talking about was money that they had in her mom and everybody had invested, invest, invest, relocate Africa. And that, that that's the money that she's talking about when she said they took her money. Okay. It's the money that they invested into the company. And then he explained that, you know, a lot of people had lost money because of what the Dusty Divas did because they went into the group and told everybody don't send any more money. All right. So that that's his explanation for what she's talking about. But I said, but what about Shakina? Why is she saying this about Shakina? He didn't know. He could not figure out why she would say this about Shakina. So then after that, everybody, I'm going to take you to UN. I'm going to take you to UN now. Okay. Because this is where the story began to really unravel, okay? This is when the story really began to come to come out. And this was back, like I said, in 2000, I believe. This was back in 2000 when he started talking about what was going on with Shakina. Now, I'm not going to play the whole video. I'm going to hop around, okay? So we'll listen to some and then we'll stop and then I'll skip around. Okay, but I want you to hear, this is when, and let's, let's look and see when this video, this video, like I said, was back in 2000. In paradise and welcome to another edition of the Unapologetic Nubian. In today's video, we got her. You heard it right. Shakina Shinedu, the lawyer for the Exodus Alliance, has been arrested in the Gambia. She was arrested on a charge of fraud. I really hope that you guys start listening to me now. We're going to go into detail of what exactly this means. But first, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, and click the bell notification. Yes, police in the Gambia, more specifically in Banjul, working alongside a lot of the people that we had put together at our team back here at the Unapologetic Negropian, have lured Shakina Shinedu into a trap. We're going to go into the details of what happened, how the arrest happened, and what was the arrest for. We're also going to try and ask ourselves what are the repercussions of this arrest. First, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, and click the bell notification. Working in conjunction with Gambian police, a group of 
victims that were put together by us here at the Unapologetic Negropian has managed to lure Shikina Shinedu into a trap. They organized a meeting with Shikina with a potential client. What Shikina didn't know is that this client was working for us and was being monitored by the police. Shikina was then arrested in the very place where she normally has her business meetings, not in her office, but in a bakery, King's Bakery of all places. Yes, Shikina Shinedu was arrested inside the King's Baker Bakery, just outside Serakunda. This is absolutely typical of what she would do. She would normally, allegedly, meet her clients or potential clients inside a bakery. Yes, not inside her office. She, of course, didn't want her clients to know where her office was. This is absolutely typical of Shakina. I mean, I just okay, now I want to say something right there. Now, one of the reasons I know that people, business people, will have meetings in places like that, even here they do that, is because of the Wi-Fi. The, you know, there's free unlimited Wi-Fi there. And some people don't have that strong Wi-Fi, especially when they're a small business. And like her office is a really small, it was a really small office. And I'm not even sure if it had unlimited Wi-Fi in it. But that could have been the reason why she met these people at the bakery. And King's Bakery is not just like a bakery like what you think. This is a, like a really nice bakery there. And that's like a, it's like where people meet up at. Like when I would meet, you know, different people to go places. We would meet at King's, King's King, I think it's called King Baker. We would meet there, okay? So don't think this is just a place where people just go in and get done. No, this is more like a Starbucks, okay? It's, it's a place like that. So that could have been the reason why she could, you know, she told them to meet there. Because again, the Gambia is so small, you could easily find her office. You know, you could easily find her office. I just can't believe that people fell for that one, you know, going to a business meeting and having to meet Shakina Shinedu in a bakery, what, to file paperwork? Come on now, this is crazy. Once she was in the bakery, she was confronted by the group of victims that we had put together here at the unapologetic Negropian, alongside the Gambian police. She was then taken back to the police station in Serakunda. She was arrested by plainclothes police officers, that is CID in Serakunda. And then afterwards, she was taken to Banjul, the capital of the Gambia, where she was questioned by the serious fraud squad. Investigations had to be ongoing. So they arrested her and they kept her in Raman. Yes, they kept her in prison because she is a potential flight risk. Now, so that's backing up what these people are saying, right? That's backing up the comments in the comment section that there was some kind of scamming allegations. This is our Kathy's backup that there's some type of scamming allegations. All right. So they're talking about this arrest. Okay. Now, remember, this was way before any of this happened. This was way back in 2000. And I believe this video was December of 2000. Ooh, I'm sorry, of 2000. All right. So let's finish this. Let's go to now he's going to tell you what she was doing, because this is what I didn't understand. When I saw this video back then, again, I didn't know who she was. I, I remember seeing a video about her going to Africa, you know, repatriating. And I thought that was really nice. And um, I didn't think any more about it. Then I remember this video. But again, again, I'm not making these connections when I get there, okay? So I see this video. But remember, I don't go to, to April of 2021. This was in se December of 2020. So let's finish this. And he's going to tell you how, what she was doing, okay? Allegedly what she was doing. I don't actually think that she has been released on bail because the reality is this. If she was going to put up bail, say $10,000, $20,000, well, where do you think she's going to get that money from? It's going to be the money that she conned out of her own victims. For those particular reasons, I don't think that the courts 
would have given her bail. And the police knew not to give her bail either. He has a passport. The Gambia is a tiny country. She can also very easily cross the border into Senegal. So for those reasons, she has been kept on remand. So what exactly is Shakina Shinedu being accused of? Well, I'm going to explain that to you right now. Um, now remember this, because I'm going to show you a receipt. And I kid you not, the receipt looks exactly like what he's about to show you. Aha. Now I'm going to explain what Shakina Shinedu has been arrested, accused of doing, I should say. So let's say, let's say that this represents a plot of land in the Gambia. And let's say that this is 1,000 square meters. That's one squared kilometer. And let's say this is you, okay? And this is Shakina. Now, you, this is your money, you want to go and buy 100 square meters of land. So 100 square meters of land will cost this, which is $10,000, okay? Let's say it's $10,000. So you go to Shakina and you say, I want 100 square meters of land. Shakina would then give you a super overpriced piece of land for $10,000, right? She would then give you, you would then give her the $10,000. You're happy with that. You're from the West. You don't know any better. Shakina would then take. But see what I'm thinking when I'm hearing this, and this, he's going to say that is that the Americans are thinking, well, that, that's a good business deal because that's the nature of capitalism. You know, we're going to, that's what, that's good business. If I can get the land for cheaper and get you to pay me more for the land, there's nothing wrong with that. That's called capitalism. That's the nature of it. So he's going to mention that. But I guess in the Gambia, he says that that's illegal, that you can't do that. So let's listen to this. Take this $10,000 and she would buy the entire plot, 1,000 square meters of it, using your money. She would then tell you that she has bought... 100 square meters of land for you just 100 square meters that's represented by this okay so that's yours now and you paid the same price for this one 100 square meter plot of land as she paid for the entire 1000 square meters of it okay so she would then afterwards she would break up those pieces of land all right so she would break up those pieces of land like that boom and that's exactly what we do here. We then sell these off piece by piece by piece. And I, I know a lot of my American friends might be saying, well, that's just good business, isn't it? Well, actually, <laughs> this is not the free market. This is West Africa. And there are rules against this. This is absolutely illegal in West Africa. There are massive uh, ramifications for people who do this. This is how Shakina Shinedu has been making her money, allegedly. All her accounts in the Gambia have now been frozen, but I wouldn't have thought that she would have kept her money inside bank accounts in Africa anyway. It's more than likely she has shipped it out to Dubai or perhaps even here in Switzerland. I don't know anything about that. I, I didn't find anything that said anything like that. So I don't know. Excellent. Allegedly. There we have it. We have one of this tin pot organization, the Exodus Alliance, just one of them. Okay. So then he goes on and a lot more efficiently. It will also help us to communicate with other potential victims, bring them together and form with what is going on. I will release files accounts and we will post itemized statements of these accounts once a month at the end of the month so that you know exactly how this money is being spent okay he's talking about stop doing it they don't care about you they never okay, he's talking about there he's talking about um you know don't give your money don't 
send your money to them. Okay, so that's when he says she went to jail, right? She got arrested. She went to jail. So I remember that. We all remember that because we all used to watch you in, remember? Uh, I am phenomenal. They seem to be copying and pasting. Yes. Did you notice that? Did you notice that? Because I'm sitting here looking, and I'm like, well, that sounds like what they said Blacksit was doing. And I'm like, oh, so they just steal the same scam from each other? They just use the same scam, huh? If people got their land, it would exactly. And this I am phenomenal. The receipts that I got, it made me sad. It made me sad because I felt like these people, they believe, it sounded like it was going to be some kind of ancestral community and they were doing it in honor of their ancestors and people were moving. They were, they wanted to build this community and people were giving money. They were, I'm going to show y'all, they were encouraged to give this money and they got no land. They got no money back. And these people were nice people. They weren't threatening. You didn't get any cussing people out in this this little what not the ones I have. And it had been like long periods of time where they had no communication, nothing. So let's finish, and I'm gonna show y'all. But there's other people. Well, there claims to be other people involved in this, but we don't know who these people are. So you're right. I am for now. If we, if, if, if the people who were involved in this would have gotten their land or even their money back, then it, it wouldn't be. We wouldn't be talking about this. And we wouldn't, because I can tell y'all this is true. What they were saying is true. There were lots of people, lots of people. I don't even know because there were different groups and I only got information from one group. There were groups in the UK. There were groups in um, the US. Well, allegedly, because I don't know for sure. This is what I was reading. From the from what I'm reading in these art in these conversations, these groups were everywhere. And there were more than just one group. So we don't even know how much money was involved here. So it's possible, yes. Unfortunately, yes, that's possible. Unfortunately, I have to, because you know I told y'all, that's one thing I'm going to always do. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? I don't care how good the truth is. I don't care how bad the truth is. I don't care how ugly the truth is. I'm going to tell you the truth. And the truth is, yes, all that's possible. We don't know. You UN never produced a receipt. But I don't know if it's like here. You know, that might not be public record like here. Like you can just go online and look up people's arrest record. In Africa, West Africa, Gambia, it may not be the case. You know, so I don't know. And then she hit him with a defamation suit, okay? The video I just showed you, you can't see that video in the UK. The video got blocked. He's going to talk about that in this other video. I'm going to show you. You ended a series on this. And at that time, I don't think we, as the repack community or as the community visiting West Africa or the community even just interested in Africa, I don't think we realized the seriousness, at least I know I did not. I did not realize the seriousness of this. I didn't. I thought it was just one person involved. I thought they had some type of dispute. And I thought that was the end of it. But oh, no. Oh, no, y'all. I believe what these people are saying now. When when they were saying, when uh, Gambian TV was saying, no, they need to check further. There's more to it than that. I believe it now. I believe it now. Wait till I show you. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, land preserves what is culture. I don't know what that means. You're going to have to type better than that because I can't read that. So you're going to have to type regular. Nice people are the target market. You're right. And the people, I notice it's the people who have that, I want to connect with my ancestors. I want to go back to Africa to connect with my ancestors. Those will be the main people that they target. Because I believe this, this from what I was reading, 
it sounded like it was something that they were doing in honor of their ancestors. I'm going to show y'all. We're going to read it in a minute. Um, remember that it was Beast X who was the former feeding. Exactly. Exactly. She was the one giving him this information. Okay, just like people send me information, but it's not just one person. It's not a, it, it, I can tell y'all, there's not one repat in that Gam, in Gambia that sends me information. No, there are people from Gambia, there's Gambians who live in Gambia who send me information, and there's repats who go back and forth, but they don't live there. They'll go back and forth. They'll send me information. And the mem these, some of these people, well, the members of the groups will send me information. But these repats, they're not sending me information. So that was strange that she was doing that. It was like she was trying to take everybody out around her. So when that came out, that it was coming, it was coming from her, I kind of really took it with a grain of salt. So I'm like, well, do we know if that's true, what she said about her? Was that true, what she said, what James said about any of these people? Because the information was coming from Blackset. Allegedly, that's what he said in his video. He was getting the information from Blackset. This information from Shakina, I don't know. I don't know if it came from Blackset, but I'm telling you, if, if I feel like, in my opinion, that this is where this information was. But we don't know. It could have been the people who were actually being scammed because there's these, these people were actually, I'm not going to say scammed because I don't want to say scammed. I just don't want to say that. I'm going to say this was not a good business deal. This was bad business dealing. These people were a part of this, okay? Well, I'm going to use what they felt like it was. And I'm not going to deny them their feelings. They felt like it was a scam. They felt like they were being scammed. So I'm going to call the spade the spade. And that's what they called it. So I'm not going to water down how they feel because Shakina is not here to defend herself. I'm going to tell, say what they said. I'm going to call it like it is. They said they felt like it was a scam. All right. So. Right. So I'm thinking, how true is all of this? How even after this happened, and I'm still researching for this video, I'm looking at James' videos, I'm going through the comment section, and I'm still thinking, this is where James got the, the information from. How do we know this is the truth? I'm not saying James is making it up, but he's getting the information from somebody. How do we know she's not making it up? We didn't never see receipts. So that was fair to think that. That was fair to think that. Uh, that explains the second. Kiki, you missed my first comment. That ex Okay, let me go back up. Yeah. So is this the first one? Is it possible? Uh, is it possible was arrested in Black said also? Got Cynthia arrested. Um, that one with Black Acres, I thought that was because they had took a package by accident that was their package. That's what I thought was behind that. That they went to the post office and they took a package that didn't belong to them. Well, they were given a package that didn't belong to them. And Miss Black felt like they had stolen her package. So I think that's what happened with that situation. But we don't know because James said it was people who worked for him. Was that the comment? Okay, here's a, here's one. He says, Kiki, I remember when you and reported this, and his other expose videos he did. You and is not credible. Oh, he was being yep. He was being used by Blackset to defame land comp competitors, Juliet and Gambian. Yes, yes. Now, we're not going to say the whole police force, but some of the police, she did say she had them on her payroll. Yes. So that's why I was taking this with a grain of salt. I was like, yeah, I remember all of that when you UN told us all. And, and UN told us this, people. We wasn't, um, 
Oh, I got a whole bunch of comments up here. We wasn't making none of that up, y'all. Remember, UN told us all this. He told us that she he was getting the information from her, from the lady, from Miss Blackson. So this is not no breaking news. I think you shared the wrong date on the video. Okay, let me look. Was it the twenty? Was it two thousand? Okay, I gotta go look. I've been watching so many of them. I'm gonna look and see. Okay, I can't. Be, okay, it might have been January twenty twenty one. You think that's right? Can, uh, can you really trust what this guy is saying? Well, that's what I said. Because remember, it's coming from Miss Blackset. That was the source. That's what his source. But in this video, we don't know if that was the source. He said it was people. So it could have been these people who had lost money and who were pretending like they wanted to give her some money or invest some money. You know what I mean? It could have been that. We don't know. We don't know who the source was for this video. But trust me, I have a receipt. I have several receipts that back up everything that he's saying, okay? That backs up everything that he's saying. I'm going to show it to you. And that's when I said, oh, my God, something really happened. All right, so let's go back up here. Let me get all these videos. Uh, thank you. I shared. Okay, oh, you think I shared the wrong. Okay, hey, Starburst. All right, let's go down here. Yeah, so we're going to see. I'm going to give you some receipts to prove that uh, what he's saying was what he said. Those black Brits in the Gambia seem to all be in competition with each other regarding land there. Uh, yeah, you know, buying land and selling land, that's not something you should get involved in in Africa, okay? That's just not everybody who I know who I've done a story on. Two, this is the third lady. The two sisters in Ghana and then Shakina were involved in land disputes. Okay? And those three ladies passed away very violently. Very violently. These other women, they went to sleep. All right? They went to sleep. Something happened to them and they went to sleep. But these land disputes, it's always violent. Three of them, three, and all three were violent. So land disputes do not, it does not end well. It, it's better just to walk away from a land dispute. It's better to just do that. We do, yeah, we sure do. We do the same thing. You're not lying. We do the same thing. People do that all over the world. They probably do. It's probably just human nature to be in competition with each other. I bet you it is. Um, okay, we're going to go and see how credible this video he was, this video was. Uh, okay. So we, we talked about that one. Uh, we talked about that one. We talked about that one. All right. We talked about that one. She was locked up. Okay, let's see what Janet says. Janet says um, she was locked up and caught by the police. So, yes, I believe him. It's sad, though. So, do Janet, do you, are you saying that you know that for a fact that that happened? Because we don't have, he never produced a receipt for that. Wow, they use the, pe yes, they use people. That's what this whole game was about. Uh, but the police, are the police trustworthy? Are just looking for a payout? Well, not all the police are like that. I'm sure some of them are, but not all of them are like that. You are, for, you are fulfilling your purpose. Thank you for advocating for those women and doing God's work. Oh, thank you, Jackie Hudson. Hudson, that was nice. That is so nice. You are a beautiful angel. Oh, thank you. That is so sweet. Uh, I movement said, part truth, part embellishment. Okay. So I movement says he believes that, some, I don't know if he's he or she, but this person believes that some of what James was saying was true and some of it was an embellishment. 
that he added on stuff onto it. Um, I asked, can you really trust what this guy is saying? Can we really trust what James is saying? Now that we know what's coming from blacks, said, no, we cannot. No, we cannot. Not that we, now that we know that this Blackset was feeding him information, we can't trust the source. That's what we cannot trust. It's not that we can't trust him because he's going by what someone, what the source is telling him. Okay. It's just like me. If somebody feeds me wrong information and I don't know that they're, they're doing this and they're doing this maliciously. Okay. It's not, but it is going to affect my credibility. Right. But it's really the credibility of the source that was not reliable. That source was not reliable. That was not a reliable source. Okay. So that makes the whole argument flawed because where you got the information from was not fair and it was not impartial. But did he know at that time, in all fairness to him, did he know that? Did he know that she would stoop that low to lie and to cheat on these people? I don't know. But for this story, we don't even know, Mr. White, if he got this from Blackson. Because he doesn't, he says they. He keeps saying they, you know, these people were working with him. So it could have been people who have purchased this land or who were in the group and, you know, were trying to meet up with her. We don't know who the source was for this story, okay? UN didn't know any better. Exactly, he didn't. He didn't know. He didn't know, and that's so true. He did not know any better at that time. Uh, I am scared this is good. Yes, it is. Okay, so London lady. Hey, lady, eventually the last two deaths may be connected to the same predator. The last two. I don't think Anja, from what I feel from this, this is some spooky they person. You know, we don't know who they are. We don't know who these people are who are supposed to go get the loan money to pay all these people back. Who were they? Who are these people that Shakina was dealing with in Gambia? We don't know who they are. So it's, these, it's this mysterious they that I can't figure out who the heck they are. So it was they, because they were supposed to go. They were the ones who made these promises, according to Shakina, and they didn't keep. They did this. So who are they? Where are they now? Did they ever get the loan? Obviously not, because the people were supposed to be paid back by February the 8th, people. Nobody got their money that I know of. If somebody's on here and they got their money, please write me and let me know. Because this is stuff that needs to go to the Gambian Police Department. They need to know this. They need to know all of this was going on. So to say those two were connected by the same predator, I don't know how. I don't even know how. Someone could make that connection. You want to explain that, London lady? Because I don't, I don't even know. It's not even the same story. Uh, Shakina and Mary Natty Locks. Make, oh, Mary from that. Okay, but how? How? Can you tell us how? That's what we want to know. Because Mary was just like uh, the other ladies. Went home, unresponsive, house unlocked. Shakina was not like that. Shakina was found in a waste dump where you put waste at. And she was hit on the back of her head, in the back of her neck area with a sledgehammer. Those are nothing alike. Now the other five ladies, Veronica, or the other four, Veronica, Audrey, Veronica and Audrey 
and Mary were the three who were found like that. I don't know how Beverly was found. That was a secret. Uh, Aja, we know what happened to her. And uh, we know what happened to Shakina. So I don't know how you're making, I don't know who's making this connection that they were connected. The shops were down the street from each other. That's true, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that connection is made. Can you try, can you explain it to me? How they're making that connection. UN operates on hearsay. How can you prove anything from another country? Juliet has no integrity. She was land scamming too, as reported by UN. Caused conflict among the... Re yes, exactly. But I can tell you that I have seen receipts where people send him stuff, and that's where he gets the information from. So I don't know about him, you know, just making things up. But I know that he does get receipts from people. Well, he used, he used to get receipts from people. And he probably still does. That's why his email is full. This is really important and useful information. Thank you so much. So, so now that we have that source with UN, UN is a shaky source. So people are saying UN is a shaky source. You can't really go by UN because I was saying the same thing. So if our Kathy stated she isn't responsible for the missing money, then who is? Uh, Phoenix, the Dusty Divas. Not Shantae. Shantae was not in charge of the money, but Phoenix was in charge of the money. All the money was in Phoenix's name. Okay? Phoenix Rain was in charge of the money. All right? Her name was on the money. Her name was on all the money accounts. So when she got there, she told everybody, don't send any more money. I guess they sent money monthly. I don't know how they did it. But she told the investors, don't send any more money that these people were scamming. So, of course, what did the investors do? They didn't send any more money. So, how can you expect to recoup finances when the money that comes in, because you got to remember what they were doing. Real estate crowdfunding people is very expensive. As soon as the money comes in, it goes right back out because you got to maintain these properties. you got to, like, stage, like where they're saying things were staged. That's part of what you do. With real estate, you got to make it look good. You got to stage it and make it look good so people can want to come there and stay. But they didn't understand that. So there was like, oh, this is scammy. The property doesn't look like this. The property's not even finished. Well, when people come in, you get the properties finished as people come. They don't understand real estate in Africa, how it works. They don't fix it until they know somebody's moving into it. So instead of them asking questions, Phoenix decides she's going to take over her and her friend, irrelevant. Cynthia's best friend, irrelevant, decides, well, we're going to take over and we're going to run the company. Well, they didn't know what they were doing. So the company went under. So that's how. Um, see. Um, you've been knowing you and Blacksit for a long time. So you're lying about all of this. You looking for clout. Okay. I don't know Blacksit. So everybody knows I don't know any I don't know Blacksit. I don't even talk about Miss Blacksit. But I have been knowing you in for a long time. And I don't know Blacksit. So because I know you in, that means I'm lying and I'm looking for clout. Well, I've known you in for a long time. I've never talked about you in until now. You know, and that's only because of Shakina. So if I was looking for clout, I would have talked about you in a long time ago. A long time ago. I only talk to him talk about you in when it's necessary to talk about you in. But looking for clout for what? You in doesn't even make videos anymore. So what clout could I possibly be looking for? And he doesn't even talk about women who are passing away in West Africa. So what clout could he even give me? Make your argument make sense, sir, okay? And I'll get back to you. So you can't just make allegations without facts. Well, you can, but, you know, it means nothing. Shakina and Natty Locke's deaths. The guy who has been arrested was around Mary before her death, and the investigation is still open. 
okay, he was around her, so he did work for both of them? So that means he, he did it? I'm confused. They said she had a heart attack. See, y'all? I'm confused. I'm confused. The death certificate says she had a heart attack. According to the husband, she had heart condition. So what did the guy do? Did the guy give her something to drink and she went home and didn't wake up? Because that's what happened to her. Really? So who's running her shop? The guy got the shop open to? Who's the lady answering her phone? That's what I want to know. So ask whoever is giving you this information, ask them who are the ladies answering her phone. Ask them who are the ladies running her shop when her family clearly requested the shop be closed because I showed you the receipt where they said, Kiki, the shop is open. It is not supposed to be open. We requested it closed. I showed you the receipts where it was open, and her truck was parked out there. And the neighbor told us the husband sit up in there every day. So I'm confused. I'm confused. Tell whoever told you that, stop playing with me. Okay? And tell them Kiki said just that. She said stop playing with her. I'm learning a lot about their lives. Thank you. Yeah, because it's a lot to learn. They weren't just just over just like that. Even if Shakina did, you know, get involved in this, you know, and it appears like she did. Learn, ladies, from this. That's what we need to do. That's what she wants us to do. Learn. Learn from the mistakes that they've all made. Don't let their lives be in vain. That's what this channel is all about, bringing honor to them so we can look and we can say, okay, I ain't going to do that. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, if I'm in a bad relationship, oh, I'm getting rid of him. I'm going to divorce him legally and send him back where he needs to be. I'm not going to stay with him. Because when something happened to me, if something happened to me, then, hey, he get everything. My kids get nothing. I just left the Gambia two weeks ago. It's not safe there anymore. Well, that's because the young people are smoking Kush. And it ain't never safe where Kush is. I have no evidence of this, but it is possible that there may be co-conspirators well, co within the Gambian police. Whoa. Police are not beyond corruption. Money is the root of all evil. Yeah. That's true. That's true. But that's true. Money is the root of all evil, but it's just not, I don't know. Kiki, we appreciate how far and fair and balanced you are in your reporting. Who for, dot, for thought? Do you think the Gambian police has the time and money? No. And see, that's what our government tells us. That when you go over there, the police do not have the time, they do not have the money to investigate crimes like we do here in the United States. Like here, a detective would be like, okay, Miss Kiki, come tell me what you know. Come in here and show me your videos. Come in here and talk to me about what you know about all these women passing away. Yeah, they, sh they, would, they would come and they would listen. They would, and guess what? They would talk to every one of those people that I named to them. Every one that I said, check out this person, check out that person. Sisters International and all that crew, oh, they would question them for sure. For sure. Because you're the one advising these women to come there. You're the one. You and Black Acres are telling these people to come there. You're going to have a safety net, and then when you get there, you have nothing. You have nothing, and it's been proven time and time again. You have nothing. So, no, the police do not 
have the resources to do this. No, they do not have time to sit and go through videos and try to put pieces together. No, they don't. Why do you think corruption is right? Because people don't get paid. I told y'all that. People are not getting paid over there. They don't get a fair wage. They don't get a living wage. So you got to remember what we're dealing with. So no, they can't. They don't. They can't investigate this because this this scamming allegations. This whoever they are that was supposed to go and get this big loan to give to all these people, but the loan never came, who were they? If that was the United States of America, they would go talk to them. The, they would find out. The detective would find out who they were. Even if there was not a they, they would find out. But right now, we don't know who they were. I don't understand why black people are so messy and can't just live together in peace. It's not just black people, ma'am. It's all people. It's a people thing. One piece of the puzzle missing was the big beef between, thank you, between X and Shakina. But we talked about that. We said there was a big beef between them two. We said on this channel that there was a big beef between her and Black Sid. We talked about that. We sure did talk about that. So, yes, we did talk about that. But is Black Sid they who were supposed to go to the bank and get this big loan to pay these people back who were demanding their money? These people were supposed to get their money on February the 8th, people. Sachina came up, the last time she talked to her family was February the 13th at 1030. February the 14th, the police said she was unalive. February the 16th, they found her in a, in not, where you throw human waste. They obviously didn't give her the money. Who are they? That's what we want to know. They is not black sick. They are not black sick. Because she didn't say black sick. If it was black sick, when in her messages, she would have said, black sick owe me this money. And I need black sick need to give me the money. As soon as black sick give me the money, I can give it to y'all. She didn't say that. It's these people who we don't know who they are. And that's what's crazy to me. I don't do groups in America. I don't do groups. In, I don't do groups, period, honey. I don't like groups. Um, did Shakina work with Invest Relocate Africa? She did work with them to do the audit. Okay? So she worked with them just to do the audit. But she, um, she didn't come. I don't think she was associated with them like the other ladies. I believe, I don't, I don't, I know she wasn't, but I can't remember if she was cool with Black Sid at one time and then they broke off. I think that's, they were cool and then they had some kind of disagreement and then they broke off. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what happened. And then Shakina went out to where Black Sid was in back. She was asking for immediate citizenship and uh, Shakina was asking for, like, a transition to, you know, a gradual transition to citizenship, like uh, certain steps. It wasn't fair to target, slander, and defame our Kathy like that. Oh, my God, Phoenix and Ray Ray friend. Oh, my God. These repat, yeah, they're treacherous, yeah, because they were jealous because they were jealous of our Kathy. I'm just going to tell you all the truth. They, from what I saw from the comments, not one time that they say in these comments when they were going back and forth in these groups. And this, I'm talking about the Dusty Divas, which is Phoenix, uh, Rain, and Irrelevant, Cynthia's Irrelevant Bestie. Cynthia from Black Acres, her Irrelevant Bestie. When they were going back and forth with these groups in these groups, all they were saying is that our Kathy would not talk to them. 
Our Kathy thinks she's better than them. Our Kathy gets to sleep in the nice house. Our Kathy gets whatever she wants. Our Kathy gets treated like the queen. They were mad about that. They were mad because our Kathy had the nice two-bedroom apartment, and they wanted it. And that's right after that, that's when you see these allegations start. This is all about jealousy with Invest Relocate Africa. That was women turning on each other because of sheer jealousy, in my humble opinion. That UN is dishonest and does operate in hearsay. Okay. Let's see. Um, Kush is incense. We call it incense in the United States. It's nothing but incense. It was an incense called spice. Young people decided to smoke it. It makes you hallucinate, and they liked it. But the United States here outlawed it real quick because it makes you lose your mind. It makes you do crazy stuff. So the United States outlawed it real quick. And I had no idea that they, when they outlaw stuff, it just somehow mysteriously ends up in West Africa, just like tramadol. Tramadol is an outlaw, but there's strict regulation on tramadol. But guess where tramadol is at in big numbers? West Africa. So Kush is basically um, incense. And they smoked this incense. And to, to make the incense, to make it even more uh, potent, they put human bones in it. Yes, I kid you not, in Sierra Leone, they are grave robbing and they're grinding up the bones and they're smoking them. There's a video on my channel about that, okay? Because this illicit, illegal drug use amongst the youth in West Africa, that's going to be a nightmare. That's going to be a nightmare. And that's what Kush is. Um, the people, Dove says, the people is wicked, not the money. The money, yes, it's it, exactly. My grandmother used to say it's the love of the money. Excuse me. It's the love of the money that makes people wicked. Uh, yeah, KP, yell. Yeah. Uh, live together in peace like the you <laughs> right that's what I'm saying people you make it seem like it's just us but it's not those people are tearing each other up and they look alike hey Q how you doing so we're going to go through these comments and then I'm going to present you another receipt sub agent for X who is head of the snake who is that Okay. Um, any system taken from English common law has scamming built into it. The Brits scammed the indigenous people uh, of the world and the people, their land under the system. Uh, okay. Uh, no way could Shakina speak out. She would be risking her life. But look what she risked it anyway. That's why I'm telling you, don't get involved in land. Don't get involved in land dealings when you go to Africa. Don't think you're going to be this land wheeler and dealer. Don't think that. Because they're not going to, it's not going to go well for you. It is just not. Because somebody's going to scam you, number one, because that land is, is communal. Which means that belongs to a whole bunch of people. That belongs to your whole family. Everybody. Like I tell you, if I can find the village that my family came from in West Africa, if, in Nigeria, if I could find that village, if I could find that family, and if I go there right now, and if I find somebody has sold the land there, I can dispute that. Because you didn't have my permission. I didn't agree to that. And I am their granddaughter. You see how you see how how impossible it is to own land in Africa unless it's your family land because there's always going to be somebody there to dispute it always you got to understand how this game goes that's just to make some temporary money we're going to make some temporary money real quick because we know Kiki's going to dispute this land and then it'll be right back in the family uh, who was Shakina get, Shakina getting the land from to sell to folks where it became a situation where the buyers paid 
That's what I'm trying to find out, Mr. White or Mrs. White. I don't know what you are either. That's what I've been trying to find out. That's what I've been asking. But nobody knows. That's what I'm telling you. Nobody knows who they are. Who are they? Who is she getting all this land from? We're going to look. Maybe I overlooked it. Maybe I overlooked it. Sometimes I can easily overlook stuff. I'm one person. Okay, you need to change your font. I keep telling you that. I can't read that. Shakina was the auditor. Then why did Shakina clear Phoenix? She didn't clear Phoenix. She cleared Phoenix and then were gone. Okay, by the time they had did all of that, they left. They dumped and they flew and they left. So all the investors were coming after Art and Kathy. So Phoenix was never cleared. Why is Ray Ray targeted and fixated on Art Kathy? Because she's still trying to get that, that money back that she invested and not her friend Phoenix Ray. See, that's what I don't understand either when she said she knew that all the money and all the properties were in Phoenix's name. So your issue was with Phoenix. The money went to Phoenix. Even Art Kathy is saying the money went to Phoenix. Their dusty divots are hypocritical. Yeah, they are hypocritical. But I told you they're jealous of Art Kathy. Uh, Jacqui says, that is what I heard, but I wasn't sure what that was with human. Yes, that they were smoking. Wow. Yes, it's the new crack. Yes. And African and any African is not even socially. Yes. But guess what? They also have crack cocaine. So, honey, they're not missing a beat. They also have crack cocaine. When I was there, there was a young lady who was unalived in the Gambia, in Senate Gambia, and she was found, like, on the strip. And I said, what happened? They said she was on drugs. I said, really? What kind of drugs? They said crack. I said, crack? Y'all have crack? They said, yeah. They smoke crack over there. They said, you can get anything you want in Senegambia. Yes, that's why she's remained silent, because she's got all these lawsuits, and she doesn't want to be served. This is so messy for the well-wisher says, this is so messy for the first time in this life, I am wishing I belong to other tribes. I will, it will take a real ca catastrophic event before some per per folks get it. I'm done. Well, this was a catastrophic event. This has been a catastrophic event. Do you, okay, we ain't talking about that. I am not talking about that. Uh, these ladies, Miss Pat says, these ladies' laws come into effect because of the land that was taken away. Yes. That, that's what I'm telling you. This is a waste. When you go trying to buy land, I can't believe how many people. You see how y'all jumped on it? Oh, it's only $3,000. Well, we can go on land. and Y'all think other people weren't thinking like that? Y'all don't think that's illegal? That's exploiting them because they don't have any money. And especially not compared to our money. So that's exploitation. So you think they're not going to jump on that? That's why they pass laws against this. That's why you can lease the land. She's going to talk to you about that. All right, so now we're done with that. So now we're going to look at this UN video. Another video he made telling us that Shakina was seriously involved in land scamming. But again, not knowing the, the seriousness of this, not taking, at least I was not. To another edition of the Unapologetic Negropian. In today's video, I have often wondered how Africa would have been if we had have kept a hold of our own spirituality and religious practices. And I'm not going to start harking on about how bad. Okay, now this is about his first, when Shakina went to court. Okay, let me go. And he's talking about how she would not um, swear on the Bible. So for her to have been to court, for her to have been to court, that means she had to have been arrested, people. Because here she is saying now, let's hear what she has to say about it. So that's confirmation right there that indeed she was arrested for this. Now this makes me think for them to arrest you there had to be someone there 
who are making these claims that she took their money. Okay. And like you people were saying in the comment section, but well, why hasn't Miss Blackson been arrested? Good question. Good question. So if Miss Blackson is in, what are you going to say? She's paying the police, but she can't pay all the police. She can't pay the chief of police. She can't pay the, the, the whoever's over him. She can't, all the police are not on the payroll, people. All the police are not corrupt. Some of them truly believe in being public service. They really do. So for me, if you want me to believe all the police are corrupt, I don't believe that. I know better than that. I worked for the government in Cameroon. I worked for Kumba Urban Council. All of them, everybody who worked there was not corrupt. I told you my friends didn't even get paid. And they went to work faithfully. So you can't assume that. The judge said, I could be lying. So wait, Christians and Muslims don't lie? This was me yesterday. In Let's go back a little bit. Wow, that is so beautiful, Shakina Shinedu, to do something like that. Respectful. Shakina Shinedu. Hmm. So anyway, after this, Shakina Shinedu spoke to her Facebook followers and she had this to say about what happened in court. She said, imagine our people are so brainwashed with religion that if you are not a Christian or a Muslim and refuse to swear on either book before giving evidence, your evidence is not given much weight. The judge said, I could be lying. So wait. Christians and Muslims don't lie? This was me yesterday in court. They did not even ask if I had another belief system. Okay. So that right there, y'all, we know right there she went to court. There had to be some truth. There had So that story about her being arrested that he did, we just looked at about her being arrested. I told y'all, he doesn't, from what I know from about James, you in. He doesn't just make this stuff up. This man has kids. This man has a wife. This man has a job. This man has a life. So to sit up and make up elaborate stories, that takes time, people. So nobody that I know on YouTube has time to just sit up and make up stories. I'm sure these people in the Gambia do because they don't do anything but try to figure out how to get your money. But somebody in the West, we don't have that time. I'm sorry we don't. So this is proof that she was arrested. She was arrested because she went to court. Discrimination. How so well of Shakina Shinedu to stand up for her principles as a good, hardworking British citizen. She also had this to say. I refuse to swear on anything other than our system of spirituality. Whatever system that is. On principle, I will not waver. Now, that's something else I've noticed about all of these women who have passed away in the Gambia. They all have this system of spirituality. They all belong to this system of spirituality. I'm not sure what this system of spirituality is. I thought it was some form of African spirituality, but it seems to be something that they're putting together. They're mismashing a whole bunch of different spiritual spiritual practices together. I don't know about Shakina because I haven't seen her, but Asha definitely was doing that. And that is a, an amazing thing for her to say, to stand up for herself in court. In court. Yeah. So, well... Why was she in court? She didn't really tell her Facebook followers the reason why she was in court. She kind of ignored that. It was nothing. But I was in court. One guy did answer this particular comment, and I'm going to read it for you because I had to applaud him for this. Y'all kill me with this standing on principle Africa stuff, especially when dealing with unprincipled systems like play the game clearly they don't give a damn about ideology so why should it matter to you if you didn't show up to achieve a favorable outcome then what's the point i think what he had to say was perfect i mean 
an unprincipled system, and let's be honest with ourselves, most of the court systems throughout the continent are unprincipled. So you could go into this courtroom and you could have this judge turn around and say, you must swear on the Holy Quran. You must swear on the Holy Christian. The Gambian court system right now, I'm very happy about the fact that something is actually getting done. Now, I'm not holding out much hope because of what I just said about the principle and the, the values and things, okay? She's got a lot of people's money. So she could pay her way out of this situation using their money. She's not really good. But I know Shikina Shinedu and I know her personality. She would never pay these judges off. She's too tight to do anything like that. Once she has that money, she's not letting it go. And this is what I've been trying to warn everybody about. Do not send your money to people unless they are either licensed or they are the actual land or property owners. Don't send money to middlemen like this person. Don't send money to agents. <laughs> How long have y'all not heard nothing? Yes, I've been muted. So y'all didn't hear that video for real? We cannot hear. Can't hear you. Oh, Kiki, we can't hear you. Oh, shoot. Okay, y'all. So let me go back to that. So y'all didn't hear none of you in stuff, right? Oh, y'all could hear him, but not me. Okay, good. Okay, so y'all heard him, but not me. So basically what I was saying was that I got to remember to unmute this mic. Um, what I was saying was that he basically was just telling us what was going on you know, what was going on with her recent situation. And this was just another video that he had made about her. Okay. So I'm going to have to keep going back, back and forth. So UN is reckless. Okay. Okay, what's this saying? Kiki, we heard the video. Just not, okay. So long as y'all heard the video, that was the most important thing. The commentary was just me saying, you know, uh, we have receipts saying different things. Basically, we got receipts I'm about to show y'all, okay, that backs up everything he was saying. I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, I'm going to try to fix that, too. But I think if I edit that, I'm going to try to edit that out so y'all won't have that, that blank spaces in there. Okay, good. As long as you heard the video, that's the most important thing. All right. Uh, I want to know because you corrected me so boldly to say that he is not in the UK. Who's who are you talking to? So I just wonder where he is. He's not in the UK. No, he's not in the UK. We know he's not in the UK. Well, he told us he's not in the UK. We don't know where he is, but he did tell us he's not in the UK. I think he's in Australia or Switzerland or some, Switzerland, someplace like that. Okay, so y'all just saying y'all heard the video. All right, good. So now this is the last UN piece of evidence that we have. So remember, UN's videos were just setting the stage for me, right? I was just like looking like, okay, so, but I'm still thinking this is just not really real information. You know, this is just something that, um, this is just something that he said, you know, that he got from Juliet. Because remember, I still don't have the receipts from the people in the group. I still don't have that, right? So I don't know what's really going on. Okay. So did we do this one? Uh, we did that one. Did we do this one? I think this is the last one. Did we do this one with the pink shirt on? I've cared about you. Okay, we did this one. This is the one where she was remanded into custody. We might have done all of them. Hold on, let me check. So if we've done all of those, then I need to show you the receipts. Okay, hang on. Let me go here. Let me stop sharing this one and go back. Because I want to show you everything he said. There was a receipt for it. 
So that I thought was strange. That made me think that somebody was working with her. That I mean, somebody was sending him this stuff that knew her, you know? Tradition of the unapologetic Negropian. Okay. In today's right. video, we are going to talk about the auditor for the Exodus Alliance, Shekina Shenadu. I'm, I'm going to tell you now, I really wish that half the things that I found out about her, I didn't know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go into this because it's important that uh, the people who are investing with her know about this. Uh, yeah, we are going along those lines again. But first, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share and click the bell notification. Now, last week, during the interview that I had with Exodus Radio, there was one name that kept coming up. This uh, attorney, Yah, kept, uh, that's the person who was interviewing me, she kept bringing up the name of the auditor. Now, when she said this name, it rang a bell, but I couldn't quite place where I heard this auditor's name from, this attorney, Shinadu. Then I had a eureka moment. I started to remember looking back a few weeks ago when I was doing research into His Royal Highness, His Excellency, um, King R.J. Majid, Madi, Madi, his name is, yeah, R.J. Madi. So I was looking and I was thinking, did he not meet this woman? Take a look at this. So this is Shakina Shenadu, the so-called auditor for the Exodus Alliance. She is apparently the attorney who will be conducting the audit, who has been conducting the audit. And I'm going to be frank with you guys. From the get-go, she looks like the perfect pan-African, all-singing, all-dancing woman. She has had lots of accolades added to her name uh, throughout the years she spent in the United Kingdom. She uh, moved to the Gambia in 2017 after executing a 12-year plan. And so somebody who has executed a plan that long is extremely dedicated to their cause. She also runs a health shop called Nubian Health that um, sells all types of um, healthy cosmetics. The so basically the point of this video, he wanted to say, he was saying that Shakina should not have been allowed to be the auditor because there was some type of relationship with her and RJ. And if she had a relationship with RJ, she couldn't be a fair and impartial person to do the audit. And I don't know how that is because RJ was not a part of Invest Relocate Africa, okay? Neither was anybody who was in Elect Exodus Alliance. So even if Shakina met with RJ, that doesn't mean she knows him. You know, just because I meet with somebody or they interview me or we sit down and we talk, that doesn't mean me and that person have a relationship. You know, so for them, this is what they're trying to discredit her with on this video, was that she knew him. And really what I saw was not that she knew him, it was that she did a video. And then even if she did, again, even if she knew RJ, what does that have to do with her being the auditor for Invest Relocate Africa? Invest Relocate Africa was not his business. You know, it was crazy and Art Cathy's. So that part I didn't quite understand. In foods. Who really looks the part. She is the ultimate part. No one's going to know this because she's from a tiny community of African diasporans. She is from the Afro-Caribbean community in the United Kingdom. The same community that I am from. 
Needless to say, it was not difficult for me to find out information about her. All I had to do was make a few phone calls. I'll start off with this. This is what I found out. Shikina Shinedu is not an attorney. She has no credentials to give any type of audit of any kind. She does have some legal background, but she is not a licensed attorney. She did not pa pass any bar exams. She's never been a lawyer. She's not never been a lawyer at any point in her life. So the fact that that this sister, Ya, this lady who interviewed me uh, a few days ago, kept calling her an attorney, shows you how little they know about her, or if they do know that she is not an attorney, how much this. So the fact that this lady who interviewed me on the radio channel the other, the other day, the fact that she, she kept calling her attorney Shinedu, Attorney Shinedu, she's not an attorney, okay? So you either know it and you are ignorant of it and you are therefore incompetent to run an organization or you are complicit. The fact that the Exodus Alliance called me to go on their radio channel, I think. Okay, that's him talking about him. And af actually this video, yeah, this is the one you cannot see in the UK, okay? Because she actually did some defamation. She filed a defamation suit against him for this video. You steal it and go somewhere else. So, guys, listen. This audit that the Exodus Alliance so is doing. So, she filed an actual defamation lawsuit against him, okay? So, this video, YouTube had to take, I believe it was this video. They, this video cannot be seen all over the world because of the defamation lawsuit. Okay, so this was Shakina that James had put out there. This is what we knew about Shakina, according to United, I mean, uh, Unapologetic Negro Pen. This is all we had known, okay? There was nothing else out there. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, so I couldn't go through her YouTube channel. So I just had really James's video. And your comments, which were telling me that there was more to the story. But, you know, I needed some facts. I needed some receipts. So let me go through these comments. And then I'm going to put, present you with the receipts that I got. Just dropping in to say hi. Celebrating my daughter's birthday today. Oh, well, tell her happy birthday. Thank you for stopping by. I wonder if they are selling the same piece of land for more than one, more than that's what I was wondering too, TK. T oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Something I thought I heard something outside. I do hear something outside. Okay, um, that's what I thought, T and K. I thought they were selling the same land over and over again to different people. Because I didn't understand what was going on. And it came to me. I said, I wonder if they're just reselling this land. Uh, Intel, the person working with uh, Shakina for over four years, accused of her unaliving, also worked for Mary, introduced to Mary by, okay, Shakina. When Mary was found, she had two blood marks on her neck on her neck front door open okay well that's interesting who told y'all that because that's not what the what, what the death certificate said nothing like that they said she had a heart attack okay so now y'all saying she was unalived by the same little serial the same little boy that's what y'all want us to believe so, so this is the story Sisters International has told y'all, and y'all believe this. So why would he kill Mary? Why would he, why would he unalive Mary? What was the point of that? Why would he unalive Mary? And these two, her family must knew nothing about these two blood marks on her neck because they said nothing to me about it, and all of my information came from her family. 
So tell Sisters International, produce their facts. They're really trying to connect this little boy to make y'all think everything is okay when the, Mary's door was open, like Veronica's door. Open like Veronica's door, is that what you mean? So Mary's door was open too, just like Veronica's door was open. Yeah, just like that. Was Shakina's whole situation was different. And, 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 and that appalls me that these weak women are trying to spin this story. No facts, no nothing. I told you the door was open. The husband went down there and said that she had a heart attack. So y'all was telling people she had a heart attack. Now they saying something different. Tell Sisters International to keep their lies to themselves, okay? Please don't come to me with nothing Sisters International is saying, okay? Because this doesn't even make sense. I can't believe they're trying to put this on this little boy because he did work for both of the ladies. So that, make, that means he did. Why would he unalive Mary? For what? For what? And what was the two marks on her neck? What was that from? And how come her husband didn't tell them that when he, when, when he did the death certificate? He told them she had a heart problem. So people need to get their lies right. That's why you shouldn't lie. And tell Sisters International, that's why they should have autopsies and talk screens so they won't have to lie. Now, which one is it? Was it a heart attack or was it the little Sierra, Sierra Leonean little boy? who you want us to think did both. And y'all should see. I'm going to go get the picture and put it on my community. This is a little boy. A little. He's smaller than Shakina. That's how little he is. And they say 20 and 30. This boy don't look 20 or 30. This looks like a kid. A little kid. <sighs> so glad I caught the live. And you look gorgeous. Thanks for your bravery. Oh, thank you. Thank you for speaking up for these women. Thank you. Don't, that's, the, give me facts. Don't give me what Sister Lions, weak Sisters International say. They lied on me. They sit up and made up a whole story and a whole video about me. And when I confronted her about her lie, all she said is, oh, somebody told her that? So you just repeat what you heard? I guess somebody, she heard that too. Uh. Her death certificate, yes, it says she had heart problems. Her, her husband. So now y'all, y'all switching that up. And her family says she didn't have no heart problems. So now y'all switching it up because y'all want to blame it on the little boy in Sierra Leone. Y'all want to blame it on the little Sierra Leone little boy to clean up y'all mess so y'all can say, oh, everything's wonderful in the Gambia. Just keep on coming. See how irresponsible these people are? See how irresponsible they are? Uh, I don't know what you mean, this guy you in. Well, I have receipts that back up everything he said, and it came from Shakina. Exactly. If she is 12 years dedicated to the cause, as UN just said, why would she jeopardize with scamming? Exactly. That's why I'm confused. But wait till I show you the information, Mr. White. Mr. or Mrs. White. That's why I'm like, what the heck am I reading? I had to keep on going over, keep on. And it wasn't just one receipt. It was receipts with an S. Why would you do that? Because, you know, one thing that can make you do that. Intel from the Gambia. Okay, I know you're just saying, sweetie. And I'm not talking to you when I'm talking like that. I'm talking to them because I know they're on here watching. Because that's what they want you to do. Now you go back and tell Kiki I said it because I'm not going to say it. Mm -mm, I'm not going to tell Kiki that because she know I'm lying. Yeah, I know they lie, Honey, they're lying. They're lying. If you want to know what happened to Mary, go look on my channel. Mary was in a bad relationship with her husband. A very bad relationship. Okay? She was going to divorce that man. That man came back to the United States. They were not even together. Not even together. 
And then all of a sudden, healthy Mary passes away. And now y'all giving us two stories. Now the people on the ground giving us two stories. Shut up and leave us alone. How about that? How about that? Because Mary's family is really going through something behind all of this. Y'all don't know what they're going through. But I know what they're going through. This is, this is bad on their family. This is horrible. Then what happened to Mary is horrible. It's horrible. She got kids. She got a grandson. And now y'all coming on here with this lie? Trying to make it seem like it's, this little boy did it? When y'all know daggone well, this little boy ain't did nothing to Mary? But Sisters International put that lie out? Because they want everybody to think it's cool to come to the Gambia and that they got their back. They don't even have their own back. They don't even have their own back. So how are they going to have you? How is V going to have your back? Because it ain't no Sisters International. It's sister with a whole bunch of what's up groups. And that's what they do. They all got these what's up groups where they go on there and spin a bunch of lies. And now she done spent a bunch of lies on her channel telling people, go out and tell Kiki. Go out and share. That's what she talked about? That was her information? Well, that ain't what her family said. And that ain't what the, what the death certificate said that was made up by her husband. So get your lies. Tell them I said, get your lies right, okay? Get your lies right. Get your lies right. UN and Bell. Okay, we talked about that. Um, some of these repasts are liars. Yeah, these repasts are real bad liars. They got to tell a lie, though, to keep their life right. Uh, weren't Andre and Shakina? Yeah, they were in the Exodus Alliance. Yes, but they had nothing to do with. Like, she wasn't a member of Exodus Alliance. Exodus Alliance is like four or five different people, six people, I think, who are to make this organization. And they, they help people repatriate throughout West Africa. Okay, Shakina, I don't think she was a member of that, but she did do the audit for Exodus Alliance that stepped in, okay, to say they were trying to squash what was going on because it was out of control. So Shakina stepped in and said, okay, I can do the audit. I'll do the audit. So that's how she got involved. We are sick. Uh, hi, Edra. Where were you sitting in the bushes? <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened with that. So UN is saying she's lying on her interview posted recently online. The who is Shakina? I don't know. I don't know what that interview said. Uh, so this, yeah, this is real crazy. They smeared her first, then what? Yes, this is real crazy. This is real crazy. All of this is real crazy. This is real crazy. As this Shakina was involved in a lot of problems, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to show y'all what I got and y'all decide from there. Okay, y'all have to decide. What do y'all think? Um, how can people get their money back that was paid to Shakina without land and title? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, why did you? Why did y'all do that? You know, they gave the power of attorney. Then you sent money to I think it was some lawyer, and the lawyer was like held the money in trust. But when you give somebody power of attorney, they can go and get the money whenever they want. I would also like to know. Okay, we're about to show y'all. I'm about to show y'all. Uh, UN is a psychopath, and he enjoyed causing conflict among people. Have you ever noticed the look of pleasure on his face as he just dis dismantled, decimated lies? That was scary. I would not believe a word that come out. Well, I'm about to show you. You don't have to believe him. Believe Shakina. Where is Black Acres and all this? Moms, the word. Actually, these women, they, they knew every last one of them. But why would they talk about them? 
that's gonna up infect their money honey these 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 women passing away and the way that they have passed away has impacted their bottom line which is their money nobody's going to them for consultation fees no but sisters international wants us to believe she's doing this for nothing we know that's a whole lie she's not doing this for nothing she's not they all want something from us they all want the money because they need it because life in africa is extremely hard because you're being overcharged on the daily prices just like prices go up here prices go up there they're not working they're not bringing any dollars in except for those dollars that they had and even if they're retired that money is the same every month so they're running out of money if not have ran out of money so they got to think of different ways to get money so why they're not going to talk about that they're not going to do that they're not going to ever talk about that they talked about it a little bit you see but not too much all right y'all so let's get down to the nitty-gritty let's get down to the nitty-gritty so i showed y'all that but the first i want to show y'all something that was i thought was really really interesting okay let me see where that is hold on let me show y'all this video i thought this video clip was very interesting and UN made this video clip, but he made it. Y'all know it was before Shanita, this happened to Shanita, right? Because UN hasn't made a video and I don't know how long, right? Secret recording of Shikina Shinidu's Okay, how? that's not the one I want to show y'all. There's another one. I'm going to show you that one, but there's another one. Okay, let me see if this is it. There's one where he's talking about. Secret recording of Shiki. There's one where he's talking about what should be done to people who are who do scamming and this was really creepy because this is exactly what happened hold on y'all i gotta find this one yeah it was crazy i couldn't believe it and i was like oh my that's disturbing i might have to remail it to myself okay here it is so people like shakina Sh Hold on, y'all. I do need to really. Now listen to this before I read you everything else. Let me get this down here so y'all can see it. Okay. Let me share this with y'all so y'all can see this one. This was really, really wild. That's the only way I could describe it. Now listen carefully. So people like Shakina Sh they do need to really be aware. Because I have powers too. You know, sometimes in order to take somebody's attention, in order to get somebody to stop doing something, in some cases you can't just tap them on the shoulder to get their attention. Sometimes you need to smash them over the head with a sledgehammer to make sure they have your full attention. Did y'all hear what he said? Did y'all hear what he said? Let me make sure I'm not muted. Did y'all hear what he said? On what you got to do to get somebody's attention. Did y'all hear that? Let's hear that again. Let me finish playing that. 
So people like Shakina Shinedu need to really be aware. Because I have powers too. You know, sometimes in order to take somebody's attention, in order to get somebody to stop doing something, in some cases you can't just tap them on the shoulder to get their attention. Sometimes you need to smash them over the head with a sledgehammer to make sure they have your full attention. And this sledgehammer is being slowly risen. And soon, it's going to come back down. And it's going to come back down so hard. Guys, once again, I'll... So. Did y'all hear that? About the sledgehammer? The people like that, you can't just tap them. You can't just tap them. You have to hit down some of them with a sledgehammer. I thought they were all retired and retired. No, not all of them. Nope, not all of them. Nope, not all of them. Bag said life is a game. They keep score by making money. <laughs> That's what they care about. Said it to our, yeah, it is. That's why they love taking advantage of you. That's why they love taking advantage of us. Yes, that is why there was a smear campaign first, and then, she, and then she is no more. Well, this was a smear campaign means it's not true. That is disgusting. Yeah, that was disgusting, wasn't it? When did UN say that? Uh, I have to go get the date of the video. Two thousand and twenty-one. It was 2021. I can't remember if it was in January. It was either 2021 or 2020. Yeah, it was a long time ago. How could he have known that? That that's how she was going to end up? He didn't know that was how she was going to end up. Yeah. I couldn't believe he said that. And I know he can't believe it. That supports your intuition about him. What? What was the intuition about him? What does that support tell us? UN got it made. UN got it made his money. Then, yep, exactly, made his money and got out. He's absolutely right because he don't have to do no videos. He makes money off that channel. Sounds personal to me. But he wasn't there. UN was nowhere. He's never even been to Gambia. He's, he was nowhere around. And that video is so old. That video was way because that's when he was, he was still in that apartment. Remember, y'all? So that had to be 2020. Probably 2000, early 2021. Because before he quit making videos, they had moved to a really nice house. Isn't that what happened? That's exactly what happened to her. That's exactly what happened to her. Which was crazy. That was exact. That's exactly what happened to her. The stage became, yes, the stage became a reality. Uh, it's interesting how we can see to the heart of the person, no matter what words are coming out of their mouth, his darkness was apparent no matter what he said. Uh, these people are all, well, some of them, I wouldn't describe them as witches. I would describe them as wannabe witches, okay? I've always known UN was a real agent of chaos. Never liked him. Uh, okay. Uh, UN may have been reacting what he had been told of the character of Shakina. After all, he didn't know Shakina. No, he didn't know her personally. And this, like I said, this video, I just clip, I just showed you. This was either 2020 or 2021. This did not, Shakina just passed, 2024. He had no way of knowing that. And that was after he had got the defamation claim. Because he had got a defamation suit against, she filed a defamation suit against him. But all he talks to folks, but he talks to folks in Gambia 
who did not like Shakina. He said blacks, had, she did. Blacks had did feed him information, but about this Shakina case, I don't think this was blacks it. I don't think this was blacks it because the same things that he is saying to me, that not to me, but what he's saying to us is in these receipts I'm about to show you. So it's, it, it seemed like somebody, maybe somebody in the group was sending him information, just like somebody in the group sent me information. So maybe that was the case. But I don't think this came from Blackson. I don't, because it was too accurate. And how would Blackson know? She wasn't in Shakina's group. She wasn't purchasing land from her. UN is suspicious to me. Uh, uh, there's, there's, is good and bad. Okay. Uh, no matter, no one just, no, they sure don't. She didn't deserve this. I don't care what she did, honey. So who was reporting to UN? That's what we don't know. He didn't tell us. He didn't tell us who it was. So I don't know who it was. My point exactly. He does not know Shakina, but put so much into his video against her. I wonder why. What his vested interest was. Money. He put on an act. He put on an act. And he got people to watch. Because we watched faithfully. And, and then what? Then he was gone. He made his money, like somebody just said. Uh, I need to share this screen with y'all. Okay, hold on. Let me go share this one. And this is the receipts y'all been waiting all night for. So let me get them pulled up. And we're going to go from there. Okay, let me see where I want to start with this. Hold on, y'all. Because it's so many of them. Maybe I should start from the bottom and go up and go backwards. Okay. What's this one say? Okay. So we're going to start and go backwards. They're, they're probably not all in the order that they're supposed to be in. Okay. So let me go back here and get this pulled up so y'all can see it. So they might, they're out of order, okay, yeah. Wait a minute, is this one up here? John, I don't think I'm going to be in. Hold on. That's in my other email, and I'm trying to figure out how y'all can see it. Let me send it to myself. Send this one over to you. Know, I'll forward it so y'all can see it, because I don't think it's going to show this email. Oh, hold on. Let me put this link in here and see if it'll do it. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Oh no. Okay, hang on. I gotta figure out how to get this video, this link up here so y'all can see it. Because these are the big the pictures that I want y'all to see. But they're in my other video. I mean my other email, the Kiki Loves Nigeria one. So let me read y'all what the person sent me, okay? Well, actually, I'm going to forward this to my email, and then y'all can pull it up. Then I'll pull this one up. So I'm going to have to do them one at a time so y'all can see them. So this is the first email that I got. And I just got this out the blue. And I was like, I was shocked because... I didn't have anything. All I had was these videos. And I was just going to go with the videos because I had nothing else. 
So I was just going to go with that. But then all of a sudden, I got these videos. I mean, these, these receipts. <clears throat> okay, so this is the first one that I got right here. Let me pull this up. Okay, and then I'm going to show y'all this one. All right. Okay, this was the first email that I got. I hope y'all can see this. Now, this was the first email that I got. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. And it says, hi, Kiki. I just got this email yesterday. It says, hi, Kiki. I've just seen your article about money owed for land purchase. And, confirm, and I can confirm that this to be true. There are several groups set up with the people from the UK and the States and other countries who have bought land and not received anything. This had not been going on, I'm sorry, this had been going on for over three years and was full of excuses. So this has been going on for three years, y'all. Remember I told y'all the, the, the Karen lady had posted her, late, her letter inside my comment, and I told y'all that was three years ago, and I wonder if this situation had got resolved. Well, obviously not. So this person continues and says, a lot of us demanded the money back and were waiting for the money when we heard she was deceased. I would say a substantial amount of money was now gone missing as there were quite a few members and some buying multiple plots. If you need more info, feel free to contact me. All right, so that was the first thing I got. That was the first letter. So I wrote this person back, right? And I said, can you send me some receipts, some receipts, right? And you wouldn't believe all the receipts I got. So I'm going to do this one. And then did y'all got some more comments up here? Oh, shoot, y'all got a lot. Oh, God, y'all got a lot of comments. Okay, so let's do this first receipt. And then we'll go back, okay? So let me, I got to read it. I'm going to read it from my phone, but I'm going to put it up so y'all can see. So this was from the Karen lady. Now, remember, Karen had posted. She wanted me to see this, right? Because I was saying that these people are greedy. You know, that this is just the repercussions of being greedy right so well wait a minute she had posted this let me get it pulled up she had went through and she i guess she was going through the comments so she posted this this letter okay well no i'll take that back y'all this is the one where shakina responds to karen and levi now karen and levi was the first people to say that shakina had took some money from them, okay? They were the first people to make these allegations, okay? So she says, dear Karen, and this is Shakina responding to them. She said, and this is in the group, okay? Y'all see this group? Let me make it small so y'all can see the group. There's a group, y'all see this is a group chat, okay? So let me make it bigger so y'all can see some of it. It says, dear Karen and Levi, this is from Shakina. Thank you for your email. I have noted the contents and sorry, you are no longer continuing with the sale. The land purchase monies can be refunded, but the lawyer fees are non-refundable as they have already prepared deeds and assignments and other documents for purchase. Sketch plans were prepared and paid for, but those payments are now also non-refundable. I have noted your request to revoke the power of attorney, and that too is not refundable. It is hereby revoked. In order to refund, you will have to, in order to refund you, we have to find other buyers to recruit those funds from the, for the, from the seller in order to pay you. I am still holding our original, your original checks sent 
that could not be cashed plus your overpayment when you change the number of plots that you were purchasing. Once we have resold the plots, we can ask this lawyer to give you the money. All right. So this is Sakina writing to Karen and Levi. And she's telling Karen and Levi, Karen and Levi want to back out of their, their land deal altogether, right? So she's telling Karen and Levi that you can uh, you can back out, but um, it's you know it's going to cost you all this money. You're going to basically you're going to lose all this money, okay? And that's what they did. They lost a whole bunch of money. So this is what she's saying to them, okay? Now I'm going to read you something else. So then my question was. For these people to back out of this, this is the question that I'm saying to myself. For these people to back out of this after investing all of this money and they're losing all of this money because they're not going to get all, any of this money back. She read, she listed everything that they pretty much was going to lose, right? So after that, after that, she... um. After that, right, after that, they still want out of the deal. They still want out of the deal. So that's when I'm like, something is really wrong here. So let me get y'all comments. Regardless of the rice, okay, oh, I'm not talking about that. Don't worry. Okay, y'all talking about something else. Um. I stand corrected. We're trying to make. Okay. So y'all talking about something else. So that was the first receipt. Okay. That was the first receipt where she's, Shakina is telling this couple who asked for their money back that they cannot, you know, you can get it back, but then you can't even get it back until after, until after they make the land purchase. Okay. So they got to sell all this land. They got to sell the land for them to get their money back. All right. That's what she's, that's what they're saying to these people. Okay. So let me read y'all this one. And this is from Shakina again. This is from her also. Okay. So Shakina is saying now. She's saying, dear all, I hope you all are well. Thank you for those that have started the process. This is what I was telling y'all about. My glasses is dirty. This is the email. This is the message that I thought was startling because to me, it sounded like they were trying to pressure these people into trying to get this money like right away. Okay. And I thought that was just not cool. So she says, this is from Shakina. Dear all, I hope you all are well. Thank you to those that have started the process. Just to make those aware that they are not, just to make those aware that are yet to start the process, the area council department have increased the fees from 2000 the, the last day. No, increased the fees. She said by 2000, but I think she's saying to 2000, Delossi, without notice. Quite a steep increase for Gambia. We feel 2000, Delossi, is about 40,000 pounds. Therefore, you will, you will now have to add 40 pounds to your paperwork fees. No one is happy about this increase, but I imagine they are taking advantage of the COVID situation. Those who are yet to start the process, can I urge you to admit, to start immediately so that the seller of the land can be paid? Thank you so much and continue to stay blessed. Now, I had a problem with that one because I thought that was odd. 
So she was basically rushing these people. This now tell me if I got it wrong, y'all. She sounded like she was rushing these people to make this purchase in this land because if they don't, the land is gonna go up, right? That's what she's saying, right? Okay. But why would you do that? Like to me, that's like pressuring people in a sale. And usually when you pressure people in a sale, what happens when you pressure people in the sale? That's usually a scam. It's not there. Oh shoot, this could not be loaded. Okay, so hold on, y'all. I'm trying to figure out because I got too many receipts. I cannot keep going back and forth like this. So we might have to. I might got to do another receipts video to show y'all the receipts because we ain't gonna be able to get through them like this. It's too many of them, and we already been on here two hours. So I think we're going to come tomorrow and do the rest of the receipts. So let me give you this other one. Because you got to see all of these to believe it. And I can't just rush through them. And it's too many of them. And they're long. And I have to read them. Because y'all can't see them. Okay. So let's go back down to this one. Now this one is... This one. Because these are her words. These are not UN's words. These are not Blacks' words. These are her words saying all this. Now, y'all just heard her say, hurry up. I'm paraphrasing. Hurry up. Get this money to the seller because we want to get him his money. Okay? So let me put my broken glasses on and we're going to read this one. All right. And it says, the house in this, oh, okay. Let me show y'all this one. This is important because these are when she's talking about UN's video. Okay. So remember UN's video. Y'all didn't see the video. In his video, that's all we're going to have to do another live. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do another one because I these receipts, I got to show y'all what I'm talking about. And it's going to take too long. In this video, I'm going to pull it up real quick. And let me see how many hours we've been on here now. See, we've been on here almost throughout three hours, y'all. And I haven't even got gotten into her receipts. And there's about 20 of them. And I don't, I don't want to rush through them because I want you to see these are her words. These are not UN's words. These are not Kiki Loves Nigeria's words. These are what she was saying to these people. Now, UN has a video where somebody, I guess it was the little Sarah Leonian boy, was working for UN, was working for somebody because he screen recorded uh, Shakina's house. And he presented this like, recording like this of was, Shakina, she... hold on, y'all. He, he, whoever this was, I don't know if it was the Sierra Lonian guy or who it was, but he secretly recorded the house. So let me show you that. And that was, wait a minute, where is that one at? So he secretly recorded the house. Okay. recording of Shikina Shinidu's house that is currently under construction just outside the capital of the Gambia. It is looking rather good actually at this present moment. Still a lot of work to be done in the house but yeah all the wiring is starting to get done and this is exactly where your hard-earned money, where your money that she's investing, this is where she's investing it. Not in any land that you want to buy, but in a... Okay, now, this is what I want to show y'all. This house, look at this house. Secret recording of Shikina Shinidu's house that now is this currently house right here. under construction just outside 
this house to me when i first saw this video okay i thought this was two different houses it looked i didn't think it was two different houses i just thought it didn't look right i thought something didn't look right this is actually the house where they found shakina okay this was the house okay this was a secret recording that somebody now here's another this is the other house okay so he went from that house to this house and i'm like this looked like See how this house is blue and gray? And this house was just like gray. Like you don't see any blue on the outside of it. It doesn't, the windows aren't the same. That's that's probably, that's the well. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, this doesn't look like, it looked different. I didn't, I wasn't thinking this was a different house, but it looked different. Okay. So pay attention. This guy, you see the guy, that probably was the guy. Because the Sierra Leonean guy is real little, like a little kid little. See, this looks like a totally different house, right? So let's go out of here. See how it looks different? Windows and everything. Well, let me show you the receipt where Shanita, Shanita Shakina says that she is actually pressing defamation charges against him now remember this is shakina saying this this is her talking to her group these are her words that's why i'm going to do another live because i gotta get you guys gotta hear her words this is her defense okay she's not here to defend herself so i gotta read her words where she she did talk about it so she said the house in the second video they are two different houses and they belong to clients of mine. So she says, the, there, in this video we just showed y'all, she talked about this in the group because the group wanted to know what was up. You know, what is up with this? What, where you got, you got houses built and we don't even have our land? So she's telling them the house, the houses in the second video, they are two different houses belonging to clients of mine. One, I am renovating because the builder messed up the, the build, and the other is a blue ocean house I purchased for a client who is now living in the house with her family. So she's saying the blue house we saw at the end, she purchased that. So it was her house, but she purchased it was in her name but she purchased it for somebody else. As most of you know, my preferred building material is earth blocks, and that is what my house will be built in when I am ready. I did not say anything before because my barrister has asked me to stay silent, but a client asked me to inform my customers who, who are purchasing for me. I will add the last correspondence from the said couples that you can see how I addressed them when they regarded the land sale. I hope that I will continue to get your support for this is a very painful time for me and my family right now. I believe in assisting people to return to Africa and to do that smoothly without getting scammed as so many have done over my 15 years experience here. I am not a thief. All right, so we're gonna stop there with the receipts tonight. And I'm sorry, but y'all, we're gonna have to get back on here tomorrow. But I'm gonna go early, cause you know, Monday, I gotta go to work. So tomorrow, cause it's almost three hours, we're gonna come back and we're going to finish because there's too many and I have to get them. I want to read them and I want to take my time and I want to get them so you guys can understand it. All right. So let's go through these comments for tonight. I stand corrected. I was trying. Okay. So that's her telling y'all. She says that that house where James was saying, she was spending the money on this houses, these houses, and this is where the money is going. 
She says she is not a thief. She said those two houses that I just showed y'all, that one of them is her house. The other house, she purchased it for a client. The reason she's talking to her group about this is because she said that somebody inside the group wrote her and wanted an explanation. So she's explaining all of this that James talked about. She's explaining it in the group. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow. All right. So let me get through your comments. Because this was a lot. And this is going to be information overload. And I'm not going to rush through what Shakina's response. So this is her response. So we're going to give her her time to respond. Regardless, okay. I said those comments. Uh, did you see the video where Unapolog have black acres of the gamut? Uh, I don't think they silenced him because those people were all doing things. I just think he just made his money and left because you don't have to continually make videos to make money on YouTube. Once you start making money on YouTube, and if you get where people watch your videos, you make money just from people watching your old videos. So, I don't think anybody has silenced him. I think, but he says that he also has powers. What is he hinting at? What is the title of UN's video? Um, which one? Which one are you talking about? It's a lot. It's three of them. Shakina's response to the buyers who wanted to rescind or breach the land contract was very professional and reasonable. In contract law, it was fair, and that's what I thought too. I thought it was I thought it was nice, but I thought, why would you back out? Why would you invest all that money? Because I got the receipt of this couple telling them how much they invested. It was like seventeen thousand dollars. Why would you invest seventeen thousand dollars? And then you're not going to get that back. So something had to really happen for them to want their money back. Yeah, she was very professional at all times. It seems correct as they would have to undo all of, yes, all the paperwork. So that's why I'm trying to figure out, and this was not the only people. This couple was not the only one who requested the money back. I'm going to show you tomorrow all the people who were requesting this money back. But I know UN has dogged out bad for the period of time among many years in the Gambia. He is quite distasteful. Bad Black Acres of the Gambia deserves to be dogged out. They've dogged us out. Land buying is complicated even in America. Factor in C-19 delays, increases in process. Yes, and that's what people weren't factoring in was those delays. I thought that two places and spaces because later on I'm going to show you where the couple said it took nine months. And I was thought nine months for Gambia? Shoot, that's good. It's been nine months and they still don't have any paperwork. But like she said, the courts were closed. This was during COVID. People were not working. Now how things were slow here, just, I can't even imagine how it was going in Gambia. But yeah, you're right, places and spaces. You're absolutely right. All of this is new to me. I got a lot of videos to watch, to learn. Yeah, you got to learn the players, and you got to learn their history. You know, because they all got a history over there. And they're all somehow connected. Uh, I agree, even legit land agents in the Gambia will tell you it Yes, it can take years to complete the land deal. They moved up. Yes. And that's what I was thinking. I said nine months. Oh, they didn't understand. They didn't understand that it takes much longer than that. He is friends with the irrelevant Ray Ray. That's probably one of his alleged powers. He could get involved in witchcraft. <laughs> um. Gossiping is like for high school girls. Yeah, it is. That's why I don't like men who gossip. I want to see the house you are looking at. Did y'all see the house? 
Oh, y'all couldn't see the house. Did y'all see that video? Did the video show the house? Y'all can't see the house? Oh, my God. Are y'all serious? Hold on. Let me get the house. Hold on. That's the wrong one. Hold on. Let me get it. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me stop it and share it. I hope this is not old. I hope, I hope it ain't old. Okay. Now, hold on. Let me pull it up. Okay. This is the house video. Currently under construction just outside the capital of the Gambia. It is looking rather good actually at this present moment. Still a lot of work to be done in the house. But oh, y'all still can't yeah, see it. Oh. The wiring is starting to get done. And this is Hold exactly on. where your hard earned money, where your money that she's investing, this is where she's invested it. Not in any land okay, that you want on. to buy. So y'all can't see the video at all. Hmm. I wonder why y'all can't see the video. So people like... I saw that one, didn't y'all? Okay, hold on. So let me do this one, present. Let me go up here. Share the screen. Let me go back. Hold on, y'all. I'm not sure why y'all can't see this video. I am really not it's sure. Recording of Shikina Shinidu's house. That's just unbelievable. That okay, so hold on. I'm going to have to do that one tomorrow, too, because I can't figure that out right now. All right. So I'm going to have to do the video tomorrow. I'm going to show y'all the video tomorrow because y'all got to see the house. But basically, that's what happened. And I'm tired now, y'all. So I got to show y'all the house tomorrow. You win sounds creepy and eerie. I'm really tired. And I got to figure out why y'all can't see the video. What is, okay, I'm going to tell you the title of the video. Uh, uh, Ray Ray is uh, Travel with Tay Tay. Okay, that's her real name, Travel with Tay Tay. Uh, I know it's pretty. I couldn't stand that guy. Okay. So we're going to have to see the receipts tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to make a video. And I'm going to do a live broadcast. And it's going to be called Shanita, uh, Shakina Responds. All right. So we're, sh tomorrow Shakina is going to respond. And I'm going to read her responses from her videos. I mean from the, uh, the receipts. Because she did respond to all this. This is all a bunch of BS. Everything is always about money in the game. Yeah, it is. So we're going to get these comments, and then we're going to get off of here for tonight, because this is too long for me to try to just rush it and put it in there. And I don't want to rush nobody's life like that. He always talked trash about AAs going to Africa. He seemed jealous. That's what people used to say. But I don't know why nobody, anybody would be jealous of people going to Africa. Everybody can go to Africa. Okay, we didn't see the picture of the house. Where is it posted? Please show it again. Okay, yeah, I'm going to post it on my community page. One love, Kiki. Because this is, I got to, I have to get off of here. This is too much. I'm tired. We've been on here for three hours. What video is on the channel? Fresh Prince found it just, no, it's on UN's channel. His name is called Ton Africa. That's what his name is called now. Just put in Shakina's name. The date, these aren't emails. These are, uh, these are WhatsApp group messages. And some of them do not have the date on there. Like this one I just read y'all, it doesn't have the date, but some of them do. And that's something very important that we're going to pay attention to is the date. 
okay? Because the dates are real important because we're trying to get the timeline together. So this is probably around, I would say 2000, the end of December, early January, okay? It's probably then. Yeah, that's when it probably was. Uh, they are, they were offered the same land cheaper from another cutthroat. I don't know. That I don't know if that's what they were doing. Why are people surprised? I don't, I don't know why people would be surprised about that. Okay, I know it's, it's. I don't, you know, and I don't know why because it's playing in media player and maybe that's what it is because it's playing on the media player i don't know but i gotta figure it out and i can't figure it out and talk to y'all at the same time they were off okay so i gotta and it's a lot of them it, it, it wouldn't even be fair to shanita for i mean shakina for me to try to present all of this tonight because it's just too much Yeah, I'm going to fix it, and we're going to do it tomorrow. We Y'all can hear me talking, but that's all. Okay. Uh, so tomorrow, that's what we're going to do. Look at the receipts. We're going to use her. We're gonna. She's going to respond tomorrow. But I'm going to put all the... Uh, Yeah, I don't know why you couldn't see it. I got to figure that out. Okay. I can't figure the technical difficulties and talk to y'all at the same time. He seems to have a lot of info about the Gambia because people send it to him. He has a lot of info because people send him information. Yes, all the way from Europe, and it does not seem that he's ever been. No, he has not ever been to Gambia. No, he hasn't. And they, but people send him the information. Oh, the sledgehammer comment is out of context. Oh, that's better. Yeah, it was out of context. I thought he was, no, it was years ago. It was, it was like three to four years ago when he made that comment. Uh, thanks for the hard work. Oh, you, thank you, places and spaces. But I'm just, I'm tired tonight, y'all, because, like I said, <laughs> this was a lot. Y'all see, I had to go through UN's video. I had to go through Art Kathy's videos. And now we have to go through Shakina. Now we got to present what Shakina has to say. And I want to take my time and do that. I don't want to rush her side, her defense. Because she, she talked about all this. She did. He did. She filed defamation charges against him for that. Uh, this time Africa is very yeah it is it was good it was a good channel I liked it a lot I thought it was really good is that WhatsApp still open to read uh, I don't know if that group is still open or not uh, says that Shakina accused the UN of def she did I'm gonna put why are these comments just keep coming the same comment keep coming up here Am I hitting that? Um, so are we just going to keep quiet about Art Kathy saying she did the bomb with crazy? Did she say that? Where she, she, did she say that at? Because I heard differently, honey. That ain't what I heard. But I played with toys. Where 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 she say that at? Please show me that because I'm going to go ask. I'm going to ask as soon as I get off of here. Please, because, honey, I heard differently. Did she really say that? And she was counting. She actually counted it? Oh, Lord. People seeing you in and act. She actually counted it? Wow. She must have been impressed if she was counting. You win Stun African Channel is all about trashing other black people within it. Sounds like a self hater to me. Okay. 
Uh, I love your hair color. Yeah, they thank you. They matched that up. And I, cause uh, the blonde was just not it. This was the color for me, for my skin and my eyes. That's what the, the stylist told me. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Thank y'all for watching. But y'all, we got to do a Tons channel called Out the Foolishness and Scammy Behavior. I loved I did too. That used to be so much fun sitting watching them videos. I learned a little from just watching your videos. I share as well. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I hope you're learning more than a little from watching my videos. I hope you're learning a lot. Yes, sometimes you need to investigate channels to bring out the truth. Yes, you do. Um, I'm learning a lot from watching your videos. I share. Oh, she changed it. Uh, right after the clip Kiki played, Art says, she, are you serious? Asked him five times. Was I the only one who heard that? I'm going to go back and listen. All right, y'all, we about to get off here tonight. That's been three hours, and we still didn't get to Shakina's part. So what y'all think I've been going through? If I just talked about it and presented the evidence to y'all, and that took three hours, and we still ain't got to Shakina? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is a lot of work. Uh, you mentioned that the late Shakina accused you in and defamed her character. I'm not surprised. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to read you. So tomorrow, I guess about, let's do 2 o'clock, okay? Let's do 2 so I can get done. We'll probably be off about 4, okay? So tomorrow we're going to do the Shakina responds because it's not fair if I just rushed through what Shakina had to say, but we took our time and went through what Yuen had to say. We took our time and went through what our Kathy had to say. And now we're going to, at the end, we're just going to rush through what Shakina had to say. No, I'm not going to do that. And I don't want to rush through what these people in this group had to say because they're talking also. So, I want to present the investors who were investing with Shakina. I'm going to invest and in, uh, present what they have to say. And I'm going to present what Shakina has to say tomorrow to all of these scamming allegations. So tomorrow, the investors and Shakina are going to respond to these allegations. So if we defamed one, if we, so if he defamed on, one you channel why well, why would you believe his was credible oh you said if he defamed one person why would you believe it was credible thanks to you and his exposure saved a lot of people from being scammed but it didn't save enough because people were still investing with black acres i think they done finally learned to leave them fools alone uh okay we're gonna go through these last comments Good night, y'all. I will see y'all tomorrow so we can finish this. I'd rather have three hour. I'd rather have a three hour part two anyway and a three hour part through three after that. Let's let's go. <laughs> yeah, because I want y'all to know the truth. I don't think it's fair that people say things and they don't present the facts. Okay, so I got plenty of facts because they took the time to send me Plenty of facts. It was 17 pages, I think, to say it. What, how many pages in this email? And I don't want to, I don't want to just breeze through it like that. No, I want y'all to know the truth. So you can't come on here like Sisters International. Oh, it's a lot, it's something, something, something. Girl, bye. Yeah, there's like uh 18 correspondences in this email, okay? So I can't just rush through it like that. 18, okay? So I can't just rush through it like that. I want y'all to know the truth, detail for detail. Uh, I don't believe, okay. But this ain't about you and y'all. She re, Shakina is validating what he's saying. She's valid, she's saying that was her house. He said it was, he said 
This was her house that she was building. One of them was her house, but y'all couldn't see it. I'm going to show y'all. And the other one was a house that she purchased. Okay, I got to figure out why that was not showing at all. I'm probably going to have to screen record that. I got to figure out what I got to do with that. Uh, yep, and they hated him so bad talking about his wife, just disgusting stuff. They were mad because he was right. Yeah, they were mad because he was right. Yeah, he was right about all those people now that we look back. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, good night, y'all. We about to get off of here, and we will be back tomorrow with the rest. I don't believe, oh, y'all still talking about Lord UN. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please show it. I am, Mr. Mr. Terry, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I tried to show it three times tonight. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I think maybe because it ran on a different program, like it ran on Windows Media Player instead of whatever it was supposed to run on. So I'm so sorry. I'm going to show it tomorrow. I'm known for my, my receipts. Okay. So, and I do receipts videos all the time. So don't worry. You're going to have all the receipts out there so you can see them. Okay. So I will. I promise I will. And I'm going to put UN's videos up there so y'all can watch them tonight. So y'all can come back and comment on those also. Because UN has a lot of good information on there. He has Exodus Alliance on there. Go look at that video about Exodus Alliance. Go look at that. There's four videos about Shekinah on there. Look at those videos. And then you can watch the video about Blacksit, how he got the information. And he tells you that Blacksit was the person who was giving him the information. Okay. So he has a lot of good, that's a good reference. Okay, that's a good, not a, a good resource is his channel. Okay, so y'all, that's about it for tonight. Wow, that was a lot. I can't even believe we was on here three hours. But we were. We were. So, again, tomorrow, we're going to do a receipts video. We're going to talk about Shakina's response. We're going to also talk about the investors' response because the investors were talking. They wanted to know what happened to their money. They wanted to know what happened to the land. And some of them, remember, y'all, this was three years. The first person asked for their money back after nine months. But some of these people were still waiting because they were supposed to get the money this year, February the 8th. They were supposed to get their money. February 13th, Shakina came up missing. February the 16th, they found her in a sewer pit where they dump human, where human waste goes. And y'all think this little Sierra and little boy did this by himself? I don't think so. Now I don't. Now I think there's more to it, just like you all were saying. Now I think there's way, way more to it. Because like I've been saying, who are they? Who was supposed to get this loan? Who? Somebody was supposed to go get a loan to pay all these people back. Who are they? What happened to them? They obviously never got the loan because the people never got the money back. Oh, you think so? I don't know. I'm going to, because try, I'll try. i try it tomorrow. I'm going to work on it tonight, okay? And get it where y'all can see it, because I don't even know why it didn't show. Uh, so there was a, po yes. Can you believe that, Mr. White? That's why I said no. People need Somebody need to check this out, even if it leads nowhere, even if it leads nowhere, some official, some police need to check this out. They need to check this out because that little boy, uh-uh. So they were supposed to get their money on February the 8th. Yes, and she died. She died on the 13th. They didn't get their money on the 8th. They were waiting to get their money on the 8th, but they didn't. She passed away. On She met missing on the 13th. They found, they said she was unalived on the 14th. They found her on the 16th. So did anyone get money on the 8th? No, sir. 
I don't know if you're a man or a woman, but no one, no ma'am or no sir, nobody got their money. So that's what I want to know. What happened? What happened on the 8th? What happened with that person? Shakina is telling us in the receipts I'm going to show you tomorrow. She's telling us these people are whoever they are, they're going to get this money. I guess the sellers, but I don't know who the sellers are. She never says the seller's name. All right. So, yes, that's why I said this isn't as simple as they made it out to be. But you guys were saying that. You were saying that. You were saying this is not like that, Kiki. This is not as simple as they want it to be. This is deeper than that. UN had far better intel from the manipulator and from the, from the, yes, he had a lot of intel, good intel. Where is a better picture posted of? Uh, it was on. Okay, this is how I found it, but it, I got to figure out how to get it because they have it where it's like blocked where you can't really see it. But I, I Googled um, six, uh, Shakina Shinina, Sh I can't even say it now, I'm tired. Shakina Shinadu, and I put in arrested, uh, the person who unalived, but you know, I put in the N word, arrested. And I went, kept going down. And look for this newspaper called something, B-U-M, B -U -M, something, okay? And it was two Bs, I believe. That was the play. That was the person. That was the story that had the picture of him. But they wanted you to do something to get access to the picture. And I wasn't trying to do that. So I'm going to go back and see if I can get the picture without doing what they want me to do. But do that, Mr. Mr. or what, whichever one you are, Terry. Mr. or Mr. Terry, go do that, and that's how you can see if you can find it. All right? Okay, y'all. That's it for tonight. Um, this is a lot. This is much deeper than what we said. It was. It's not as simple as, bam, on the side of your head for $1,000. No. There, this was thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that we're talking about. This is, we're talking about more than one group. We're talking about several groups. Like they said, not only in the UK, but also in the United States and in other countries. So I'm going to get off here, get ready for tomorrow, and I'll be back on here. We're going to be back on here a little early because remember, tomorrow's month. I mean, after Sunday, there's Monday, and I got to go back to my nine to five. All right. I love y'all. I will talk to y'all tomorrow and have a good night. And thank you so much for joining me. And I will talk.